An interesting observation can be made by key watchers if they check the latest U.S. Navy budget document. Exploring the possibility of arming small, uncrewed surface vessels, or USVs, with Stinger missiles is an idea being considered by the U.S. Navy. The Navy's budget request for the 2024 fiscal year includes information on what is currently called multi-domain area denial from small USV, or MADS. The service is asking for $5 million to support the experimentation effort. The U.S. Navy has indicated that the experiment examples will be based on the Greenboro Advanced Rescue Craft, or GARC, design. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. plans to use drone boats with Stinger missiles. Let's get started. In certain areas, weaponized, small, uncrewed surface vessels could be very useful. An example will be Strait of Hormuz. The strait provides the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. It's one of the world's most strategically important choke points. At its narrowest, the strait has a width of only 21 nautical miles, or 39 kilometers. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Because of its narrow width, small missile boats and fast attack vessels that can maneuver easily in these waters have been used by Iran to harass large warships as well as commercial vessels. The Greenboro Advanced Rescue Craft, or GARC, is designed by Maritime Applied Physics Corporation MAPC, in Baltimore, Maryland. In its manned configuration, the GARC is a high-performance rescue vehicle. It can be deployed from C-130s and C-17 aircraft and is in use by U.S. Air Force units worldwide. The vessel is used to rescue downed USAF air crews and passengers on commercial airliners that ditch in the open ocean. MAPC has developed unmanned variants of the GARC rescue craft. The unmanned GARC is 15 foot 8 inches or 4.8 meters in length and a full load displacement of 3,600 pounds or about 1,630 kilograms. It has a top speed in excess of 40 miles per hour or 75 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 805 miles or 1,295 kilometers. MAPC says it has 1,000 pounds or 453 kilogram payload capacity. MAPC states that GARC can carry various sensor packages, including full motion video cameras and signals intelligence suites, sonars and other systems to help spot and track enemy submarines and equipment to aid in the detection and neutralization of naval mines. It can be configured to deploy its own smaller uncrewed underwater vehicles and tethered via data link drones as well. MAPC states that the drone boat can be fitted with various weapon packages. This includes the Kongsberg Sea Protector Remote Weapon Station, known in the U.S. Navy as the Mark 50 Gun Weapon System, which can be fitted with various types of machine guns and 40mm automatic grenade launchers, as well as another type equipped with the 50 caliber GAU-19 rotary barrel machine gun and systems capable of firing AGM-176 Griffin or AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. Stinger is not included in the company's marketing materials. The FIM-92 Stinger is a man-portable air defense system man pads, that operates as an infrared homing surface-to-air missile, or SAM. It's been adapted to fire from a wide variety of ground vehicles and helicopters, air-to-air -air Stinger. Developed in the United States, it entered the service in 1981 and is used by the militaries of the United States and 29 other countries. It's principally manufactured by Raytheon Missile Systems and is produced under license by EADS in Germany and by Rocketsan in Turkey, with 70,000 missiles produced. The missile is 5 feet or 1.52 meters long and 2.8 inches or 70 millimeters in diameter 
with 3.9 inch or 100 millimeter fins. The missile itself weighs 22 pounds, that's 10.1 kilograms, while the missile with its launch tube and integral sight, fitted with a grip stock and identification friend or foe IFF antenna, weighs approximately 34 pounds or 15.2 kilograms. It has a targeting range of up to 4.8 kilometers or 3 miles and can engage low altitude enemy threats at up to 3.8 kilometers or 2.35 miles. The Stinger is launched by a small ejection motor that pushes it a safe distance from the operator before engaging the main two-stage solid fuel sustainer, which accelerates it to a maximum speed of Mach 2.54. The warhead contains 1.02 kilogram or two and a quarter pound of HTA-3, a mix of HMX, TNT, and aluminum powder explosive with an impact fuse and a self-destruct timer that functions 17 seconds after launch. There are many weapons stations that have been developed for Stinger for use on ground-based platforms, and something similar can be done for drone boats. The U.S. Navy has conveyed special importance in utilizing these unmanned boats to safeguard logistics vessels that are becoming increasingly susceptible, as well as marine units during upcoming expeditionary and distributed missions. As per the released 2022 edition of the Chief of Naval Operations Navigation Plan, U.S. Navy plans to expand the overall force from approximately 300 combat ships to 523. Importantly, of those, 150 ships are intended to be uncrewed. These would work hand-in-hand -hand with the rest of the manned combat ships. U.S. Navy envisions a ghost fleet consisting of large unmanned surface vehicles, LUSVs, medium unmanned surface vehicles, MUSVs, and extra-large unmanned undersea vehicles, XLUUVs. Also, the distributed lethality concept aims to disperse firepower across different platforms and this is where armed drone boats could play a crucial role in this. It remains to be seen how things pan out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.